Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This holiday season I am bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where we are exploring a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe whether you are a cozy gal, you are chic, or you love things a little bit glam. Join me each day as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebration. Let's dive into today's festive project. I have to admit, tuxedo pants are far from my mind when it comes to the holidays. They just aren't my style. But when I see other women wearing them, I'm always so impressed that they can pull them off. And a holiday tuxedo pant would be such a standout among all the dresses that you're going to see at your holiday event. Tuxedo pants for women should include classic tailoring and would be great for those of you with an edgy and bold style or depending on your fabric choice, even a glitzy glam fashion. Okay, this pair of pants from Alice and Olivia, $375, it's called their Dylan Pant, is kind of my vision of a modern women's tuxedo pant. What I love about it is that it's a little bit high-waisted. It this, this pair specifically probably sits maybe one inch below the natural waist, um, but more importantly than that, I think, is the wide leg. I love that we're getting a wide leg pant here, kind of very loose fitting through the thigh and all the way down, and then you add in the tuxedo trim or the, the ribbon trim, whatever you want to call it. But it looks like the waistband might even be contrast maybe some kind of satin or something it definitely looks like it has a different sheen to it i'm neither here nor there on that detail um i just really really love the shape and silhouette of this pant here they are from the back again just a beautiful beautiful leg line they are hemmed perfectly they fit her great um, these have welt pockets in the back here's a closer look at the trimming what kind of makes them quintessentially tuxedo inspired pants but yeah these i thought were a great jumping off point for our inspiration okay so the pattern that i found is this simplicity amazing fit pattern it is available in misses and plus size and it's described as flared pants now this isn't flared like i am used to seeing flared um, nor does it fully represent the inspiration. It's very, very close though. I also pulled up these pants here that are too wide leg, but also very close. The thing that I was paying attention to the most when trying to find an inspiration for this was finding a pair of pants that had a good one and a half inch waistband, no darts, no pleats, completely flat front, and also the flared wide leg, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are the closest, and I think that you could definitely even kick out the flare of the pant leg even more to give yourself that uh, Alice and Olivia look. Basically, you want them as wide as however long your feet are. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit more. You can see the little peep toe of her or the pointed toe of her shoe is the only thing that's sticking out. So it's probably just as long as her actual toes are because, you know, your toes can't fit in there. So it does need to be a little bit wider than these, but this is a very, very, very close jumping off point. So these are wide leg pants. Again, I don't know that I'm calling them wide leg, but um, cropped, oh, sorry, full length cropped and to the knee shorts feature fly front zip and separate pattern pieces for slim, average, and curvy fit. So no matter what your pants fitting journey is like, these are a better place to start than any other pants pattern anyways. Um, it does have the contoured waistband. She's a little skimpy right? See how she's only one inches wide, whereas our inspiration is definitely deeper than that. Um, the description here doesn't say anything about, I mean, very few <laughs> websites are going to go into the kind of detail that I look at when I'm looking for ready-to-wear inspiration, but um, they say proof that comfy and co uh, cool can coexist. These white leg trousers make a statement while keeping things totally polished. 
wide leg high rise side strip, sorry, stripe, side slip pockets, hidden front hook and zipper closure. Yeah, that's all the information that we're going to get about it. But even on a contoured waistband, you can definitely double the width of that really, really easily. We have the slant pockets. We have the fly front with the hook and bar closure. I want these to sit a little bit higher too. I want the rise to be one inch below the waist. So double check your own measurements whenever you go to make these. Um, and then the back of the pattern is going to give us fabric recommendations of chino, denim, poplin, sateen, stretch wovens, twill, lightweight wool types. Yeah, any bottom weight really are going to be suitable for these types of pants. You'll need one zipper, one button, and one hook and eye closure. That's it for trimming, not that much. Fabric wise, we're looking at view B, the pants. Um, the largest size at 60 inch width fabric is two and three eighths um, required. So not even that much fabric. Um, this does say all, this does say all views worn one inch below the waist. The models are probably a little bit more long waisted than they're fitting for, which is why it's kind of a little bit more mid rise on her. But I do want to make sure you get a combination of high rise wide leg. That is the most flattering for sure. Um, okay, and then sizing wise, we need to be looking at the waist measurement, finished, bust and hip provided, okay, there's no bust. So these are all the hips are coming in somewhere between two inches, two and a half inches and three inches. So that's the difference um, It's the ease in the hip for these different um, styles different fits, I guess. So yeah, all of those make sense. The other thing to keep in mind is your waist. You want your waist band when it is sitting one inch below your natural waist. So measure yourself there to have one inch of ease and then kind of blend between the waist and the hip and then have the hip line flow straight down, maybe even with a little bit of a kick out and you'll be able to achieve this look, no problem. Okay, so for the fabric, we have polyester, recycled, non-recycled polyester and 2% elastane. So we've got a stretch polyester, who knows what. It's hard for me to tell exactly. Um, but what I found was a four-way stretch crepe from Zaloof Fabrics. So crepe is known for having a little bit of texture to it. But I think that this Vanessa crepe at $13.69 a yard is affordable. They also have it in a slew of colors, um, black and then there's red. There's also blue, which is pretty for the holidays. Oh, that's kind of like almost purple. And then this one is violet. Um, but I thought the pine color was really pretty. It is a poly spandex. It has a little bit more stretch in it than the Dylan pant does but I think it would give a really pretty drape, a really pretty long line, and still be structured enough to hold up to the trimming. Now, this is where I kind of took a little bit of creative liberty, but I chose a glitter grow grain ribbon. I get that that's not for everybody, but you have to kind of envision this, right? This just barely alongside of this. Maybe the emerald color is a little bit too green, but you get the idea of what I was trying to go for. They do have it in all of these other colors. So for example, like the violet pant uh, fabric, you could do this purple. Um, they do have a red, so you could do the red ones. That would be pretty. Um, but grow grain grip ribbon is usually what they're using for those side stripes anyway. So find some kind of grow grain ribbon that matches whatever fabric you find. As I planned it, these pants would be great for the glitzy glam gal. That little bit of sparkle along the side seam would really shine underneath the party lights. Pair it with a sequin or metallic top and statement jewelry and you are good to go. But this pattern and fabric also work really well if you're more of an edgy and bold gal. Just swap out the glitter grow grain ribbon with a piece of leather trimming and boom, instant edge. So what do you think of this one? Would you ever make and wear tuxedo pants to a party? 
I don't know, but this is very tempting. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope it sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project, which is a tulle skirt that is perfect for holiday parties. I cannot wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion sewing. I will see you all very soon. Bye.